Hello everyone, Mr. Science Mover here. Today is going to be a quick tutorial on how to remap your keys in any game. So the first thing we want to do is install Microsoft Power Toys. Now this is an official Microsoft product, so there are no worries about installing some sketchy software. So you can go to the link that I will leave in the description. It's supported on Windows 10, Windows 11. Uh, we're going to go to the GitHub to its release, and we'll download the PowerToys setup x64. So I already have PowerToys set up, so I don't have to run that. But once you run that program, we're going to end up with our PowerToys right here. And we're going to see a bunch of things that we can do with this on the side. The one thing that we want right now is our keyboard manager. So we'll see we have enable keyboard manager. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on first. And this will allow us to remap our keys. So what this does is it actually changes the keys on the keyboard. So when a game interprets that, it will receive the remapped key binding. So we don't need to remap in the game. We can just remap our keyboard itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, right here where it says remap a key, we'll pop that out. And we have our remapping here. So first we select the key we want to change and then the key we want it to become mapped to. So right here I have, um, I have some remaps already. So on my keyboard, I'm actually missing the A key. So I can't push the A key very well when I'm playing a game. So I have WASD remapped to ESDF. So just sliding over a little bit. And in general, I feel it's more comfortable so that my hand is not completely cramped against the left side of the keyboard. So what I have here is I have the key E, when I press E, it actually types a W. When I press S, it types an A. When I press F, it types a D. And when I press D, it types an S. I have some other key remappings here just for the sake of specific games, but uh, you can add whatever you want for the game that you're playing. So we're gonna, at the bottom here, hit add a key remap. So first we're gonna type the key that we want to press. So for example, let's say if I want the key H to press the space bar, I'm going to first press H. Then here, I'm going to hit space bar. So now whenever I press H, it'll type space. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. So this is just letting me know that if I do this, I won't have a key that lets me type the letter H, which is fine in a gameplay sense. So we're going to continue with that. So now that I have that enabled, I'm going to, well, first turn off Keyboard Manager because this does mess with search bars and such. So I'm going to open a notepad. I'm going to enable my, well, first I'm going to show you that I can type the letter H. Next, I'm going to turn on the Keyboard Manager and press the same button. And you can see that it's typing a space. And this doesn't remap the space bar, so I can still hit space. But now if I press H, it also adds a space. So now with that, you can remap your keys in any game that you want. So for today's example, I'm going to use Trackmania Nations Forever. So let's launch the game. And this game uses the arrow keys to drive. But, personally, I want to use ESDF. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our key remapper. We're going to turn on our key remapper, and we're going to remap the arrow keys to ESDF. So I already have mappings for ESDF to WASD. So what I'm going to have to actually do is change the mappings that I currently have to map to up, down, left, right. 
So we're going to change our E is going to be up. Our S is going to be left. Oops, left. Our F is going to be right. And our D is going to be down. Hit OK. And then we're going to go back into Trackmania. We'll just play the first race. So first I'm going to use the arrow keys, which is the default. And now I can use ESDF to also drive around. So this will let me play Trackmania in the way that I want to. And you can do this with any game literally any game because it changes your it changes your keys at the windows level so when the keys are re received from the game it actually sends the other key so the game believes that it's receiving up down left right but windows is giving it up down left right whenever i press esdf um, and that's the great thing about Power Toys is that it's developed by Microsoft. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope this helps everyone. This works. For me, I've been using it in Trackmania Nations Forever, Disney Dreamlight Valley, and Rec Room. But this works in every game. So uh, feel free to go and use this in your own games. And until next time, have a good one, everybody.